Your shirt looks like a bandana I once owned. Are you saying to me? Uh-oh. Your shirt sure looks like a gift shop in New Well, Mexico. you guys look like fucking retarded twins. Yeah, we do. Oh! So, oh! You just look like twins. Why are oh, they retarded? Hold that term. Don't glasses. use that term. They're yeah. called look-alike brothers. Yes. <laughs> uh, today is Monday. What we don't usually that? shoot the comment show on Monday, so no, I'm kind of frazzled. At least, at least it airs. Yeah, the there. camera's right oh, there. God. It airs on a Friday, at least. Just say it's Friday. Is it because you can just barely see your own reflection in there and it terrifies you? So here's the first comment. This is from our wonderful fans in the Achievement Hunter community. Uh, some great people. This is from the Move or Die video. Really nice. uh, Waga, CSGO. There are only two genders. Male, abortion. Ooh. Oh, wow. See, so I get it. It's funny. And it's the actually Chinese funny because I, I told Jeff about this comment and he laughed. Jeff thought it was that really That doesn't mean dumb. it's funny. That means I it's know. dark and weird. Um, and <laughs> yeah, it's Just point. like Jeff. And, uh, and, uh, but the thing is, is like, who's carrying the men to term if the women are all being aborted? Uh, I think without women, logic would prevail, and then we would have created some sort of incubator system that just simulates the womb, yeah. and it probably would have, it would probably be a much stronger society, a at least upper society. body, at least. Yeah, you're probably right. Next comment from Jake Edmonds. Jake. One million housemates. That's more than the population of Cyprus, Fiji, or Djibouti. We should start our own country, the Democratic Republic of Peak. Let's live somewhere sunny. So I read this comment, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick positive comments this week, because oh. so many people comment negatively, mainly on Lawrence. Yeah. So I decided I'm gonna pick positive comments to make everybody really excited and happy. Nice, good day. Right. So what are they, how they make you feel good, guys? Good job, yeah, yeah. Well, where are we gonna go? Yeah, we're gonna start sheltering place. ourselves. You know where we're gonna go? We're gonna start to get thinking a little too much We're about. gonna go to Jake Edmonds' house. We're gonna have a party for him. Yeah! Right. One million subscriber, we'll see you there, Jake. Woo! That's Jake. Uh, I had a pretty good follow up to that. Ooh. Get back there. All right, Twinsy. Sorry. Um, Broke Boy Twinsy. says, ever since Funhouse got one million subscribers, they haven't been the same. What? Huh? We're better! This guy just said it was good! Nope. We haven't We're all been the rich same change, bro. Yeah. I got new shoes! He's Whoa. right, he has new shoes. Oh. I have old shoes that I'm passing off as new shoes. What do Bruce, what do you got? Uh, these are all old clothes. I bought these shorts about three weeks ago. Three week old shorts, I didn't have that before. Yeah. We're a new channel, we're calling yeah. ours, what, we, what should we call our new channel? A new million, million channel. Uh, how about... Fuck everyone else, we're rich. Yeah. And I did it, dream's real, baby. I got my new well, Ferrari, let's it, check it out. It can't check be a Ferrari. <laughs> rich people actually have Ferraris. It oh. has to be like, a, it's like, I just got a new pre-owned BMW. Gotcha. Check it out, I check it out. Uh, this is on the last Google Trends show, Sex versus Trump. Matt Lynch asks, can Lawrence get a Trendmaster outfit? Something along the lines of the Japanese Iron Chef deal. I got, yes. a, I got an idea, Lawrence. I agree with this. Have you, do you remember that leather suit you bought? It's not leather. leather. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you remember that cat suit you bought? Right Latex. Now? Latex? I do remember that, and I still have it. It's we'll in my... We'll stamp Trendmaster on it, and that'll be your Trendmaster outfit. <laughs> Boy, it's going to get real stinky. Yeah. Trendmaster well, that, so that's the, that's the interesting thing, James, is that uh, latex can't absorb stink. So as long as you just wash it out with some dishwater and then loop it back up again, totally oh, fine. Packy sack. We're, yeah, yeah, packy yeah sack. we need that. We need a volleyball or something. Yeah. Anyway, they taught me all about latex care, so there's going to be a lot of years of latex to come. Here it is. It's a weird little thing that I found on Peak's desk. <laughs> it's like it's our new hacky sack. Here we go. Hey, I can hack it up with my new shoes. Oh, here we go. Hold on. What part of you did that come out of? Oh, two hits, three hits, four, five, six, seven, eight, That's nine, incredible. ten. Oh, Jacob, you're so good. Oh, my God. Keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, keeping this positive train comment going yeah. forward. Woo. This is from the Sex vs. Trump Google Trend Show. Uh, someone, Brian uh, J wants to know, anyone know what boots Adam is wearing? There's a question for the room. What boots was I wearing? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you were wearing your terrible disfigured toe. Yeah, I was gonna like say. Timberlands? Oh, God, yeah, it's, 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 it's pussing out a little bit. Oh, yeah. it is yeah. getting wet. Yeah. Uh, oh, it is. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie Burns open house number 70. This is from the next level devil. I'm proud from how this channel evolved from inside gaming to where they are now. Gained members and lost members, but yet they still kept their same sense of humor. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. Whoa. Come on, peanut gallery, what the heck? We, uh, our hands are all slick that I got all slickery. I can't get a word out. I never looked at the picture before, Dave. But thank you for the comment from the next level devil. Next level devil. We appreciate yeah, it. It was very positive. Very, very positive. Nice what job. Did you say? This is for, also from Google Trends show Sex vs. Trump. Uh, Lawrence Thompson. Uh, everyone in Funhouse looks nice with glasses. Don't know about Bruce and Peak though. Ooh. Well, let's find out. Let's so here's me. Look. Here's me before. Oh, hey, it's normal Bruce. Bruce. How are you doing, Bruce? Yeah, all right. And so after. You can see what he looks here's like. me after. Whoa! Oh, watch out! For it rapists. really makes your eyes pop. That's not a look for him. It's That's weird not a look how it. 
Yeah, okay. Now, Ooh, you lose kind of the shimmer, you know? And Hold then on. your eyes go, it goes on, and it is interesting. It, hmm. it kind of accentuates the asymmetricalness of his face. I don't know which is better. That's good, but then the other way, again, one more time. Oh, almost got it in the wrong order there. There, almost. I'm like, Jim Carrey. There it is. Oh, look at it. Okay. <laughs> Who do you pick? Just come. That's like fucking hideous, by the way. What? No. It looks like a fucking monster. Can we? Okay, now I can look at you what? again, and now let's see with the glasses on. He looks like me in 80s Dead. That's ugly and disgusting. That's, that's hideous. You look like you made computers. This is from the last podcast. Lawrence, this is for you. Oh. Um, Jake Hicks says, oh, I'm gonna get you, Jake. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa. He Just wait till you fire open your fucking mouth, Jake. Read, read it first. It right, I hate podcasts, honestly. Hold on. But this podcast is absolutely amazing. I've never liked podcasts because they are a complete waste of time to just listen to people talk about their shit. See? And it's just stupid. But Funhouse honestly changed my mind of podcasts and the people who do they. Podcasts, mad. podcasts are still gay, don't get me wrong. But you guys make quality content, serious quality content. I love it. 10.5 out of 10, would watch again. Thanks for the content. Now give me more content, lol, PS. Keep up the good works, cuz. Oh, like that's good, that's a, that's a positive comment, That's Lawrence. a positive comment, it's to you, your podcast turned him on to podcast. It's positive, Lawrence. A typo? Are you really that fucking stupid, Jake? Couldn't write out your positive comment correctly? No, I reject it, and I reject you, Jake. I pay salary, it's to understand. <laughs> Oh, he did the lizard walk. I was gonna oh, say, wow. it's basically just a wrestling promo yeah, at he, this point. He's a heel now. I, I, I got I all doped up I, on wrestling, man. I shouldn't yeah. have shown he's gone full heel. Yeah. He's gone full heel. <laughs> Thank you, Jake, that was very kind. Bruce Terrible Warts, dude, Super Hard That was from Alex Mendoza. I gotta say, I'm not sold on this new format yet. At the moment, I still prefer it when they are all huddled together behind Adam or yeah, Lawrence like uh, while they are oh, playing a game explode. like the demo just set up. Back also, Lawrence, look out. Uh, what happened to Funhouse Q&A? Um, Lawrence is going to explode. Well, the Funhouse Q&A is part of the, camera. It's the podcast after show. Well, I mean, well, we do open house. That, that's a Q&A. Right, that's funny. We, we answer your comments here, and then we do the thing after the podcast. That's for sponsors only right now, but it's the post show. It's back. fun. It's He's like, coming back. Oh, God. Motherfucker. Another oh. comment about Lawrence. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, it might be positive, I can't oh, remember. Positive. Uh, David Henderson says, just think about Lawrence having to use lube to squeeze into a gimp suit. is enough to make my wiener go inside my body, making a small vagina-like hole that still has a nutsack. He likes you. That still counts that's as an positive. erection, that's a, that's it's a, just a, in the opposite direction. Sure. Positive comment. P.S. I, I loved Bruce's stories because for the first time in my life, I've actually seen my own anus. Sir Green, I thank you. Wait, first time? So he did it because of your story? Yeah, he learned how. You bend over. Put a leg up on your seat. You look like, you can look in a mirror like this. Like that. That's why that's why if you're looking for a podcast, you can find it in the educational section. So I have a question, this. Bruce. Was this a floor to ceiling mirror? Um no, I had to, I think I had to like look. Yeah, angle the mirror. I had to prop myself up on Let's something. Let's say that Matt's, Matt's desk is a bathroom sink, like we usually use it. You'd have to throw a heel up on that sink Come and on, then sink. bend under. Come on. Start picking oh, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid I'm gonna pick that yeah, camera. Don't kick right? that camera. <laughs> right, could, you, could you imagine if you had a mirror on your ceiling? Oh, wow, that'd be and perfect. And you went all just the way lay on, around lay on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Just looking up at yourself like a little pretzel man yeah. and it's your butthole. <laughs> you gotta tuck your legs behind your arms and then you can just get in there. Or you live in Miami, it's a floor to ceiling mirror. It's on the last demo desk, uh, Crappy Games. Uh, Batara, I'm gonna assume that's what it is, even though it's a seven, to bring in late speed back in a big way, uh, asks, how the hell has Lawrence played all of these obscure games? Well, I once didn't have a job. I was too young to work. And that's basically it. I just had a lot of time and access to the internet. So, you know, you go around, you play everything you can find. At least I did. The other thing is, like, back in the 90s, it was possible to play every game. Did you ever go outside? No. Are you fucking kidding? No. I grew up in Texas. God, it's a time. There were two weeks out of the year, like one in late April, one in, like, late August, where you could actually go outside, and that was it. And it was just dead the rest of the time. So, I played video games. I played a lot of them. Beautiful Texas. <laughs> the stars at night are big and bright. But seriously, I don't know. I've been inside playing video games. <laughs> this is from the Legend of Bang D. Aaron Zim says, replace James with Bang D. He sounds way more ripped, and I bet he benches and squats more than him. Ooh, ooh. And he's straight, man. See, just like Bruce, I thought this was an insult at first, yeah. but it's actually a compliment because we all know Bang D is probably super jacked and super straight, totally straight, 
Hong Kong, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So, so yeah. yeah. Well, no shit. He probably benches more than me. I probably bench a lot less because he probably has such an impressive bench. Bang D, I've heard. There's stuff we cut out of the video, but I've heard Bang D is a uh, Chinese powerlifter. He's five six and he's sixteen years old. Well, I can't help it if the nutritional complexity of rice isn't that great, all right? <laughs> How are you supposed to bulk? How do you know he eats rice, James? How are you supposed to bulk You're when the racist. government gives you portions this big? You're a racist. What's he supposed to do, Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan? It's <laughs> from uh, Google Trends show, Hjorn Bjorn. Watch Ellen steal this gold. I fucking love this show. I'm tired of Ellen stealing stuff from Funhouse. I, just, I didn't want to read this because I didn't want Lawrence to get mad because you know he already doesn't like the Ellen show anyway. Oh, Ellen stole but it's like, Ellen, just back yeah, off. Leave us alone, Ellen. We're tired of you interfering with our lives. But Ellen's way bigger than any of us or will ever be, so she's she has that right. Joke's on Ellen. We stole Finding Dory from her. We're making another movie called Finding Adam. And it's gonna be really funny about fish in the ocean and with turtles. Do we have fun? Keep going with the joke. Yeah, uh, I know, uh, further, uh, further. And Adam gets lost, uh -huh. and then uh, other fish I have to find him. And there's a shark that says, fish are our friends, not food. Yeah. It's gonna be really great. Uh, hold on, and then the turtles, they go down the... Uh, and now the big punch is to pay off to all yeah. this. They find Adam. Those are all my comments. Versus Terrible Warts, dude suit number 75 from Mario Garofalo. I've heard Ellen doesn't let Garofalo. anyone look her in the eyes. Good positive comment. Mario Garofalo. I love Funhouse because it's one of the realest youth's channel out there. I think I know what you're saying. It's you just a bunch of dudes slash friends that play video games <laughs> and make some jokes on the way you guys deserve way more scripts of Ivers. Here you go. <laughs> way more jump for Ivers. Did you oh, mean subscribers, Matt? Uh, yeah. I, I miss every single thing he says. It's all very positive, and people okay, love Funhouse. Yeah. No, there's been hey, there's been some dust on some comments lately. And people don't know if I'm mad. My pretending is just character. Who knows? Oh. Uh, Havoc says, "WTF? Why is Lawrence so fucking retarded?" Whoa. You're gonna say that to me, Havoc? You're gonna say that to me after I watch wrestling all weekend? <laughs> Fuck you, Havoc. You know what? It's time to answer the question for the world. Is Lawrence a character or not? No, this is the real Lawrence right now being mad about your fucking comment. So Havoc, I'm gonna come after you and I'm gonna take you down, Havoc! Take you down! Okay. It's look, you're... Look at her eye. Her eyebrows. It's the wrong notes. <laughs> this is from Rocket vs. Bush, GTA gameplay, Jacob Waldo. James seems like that guy who always seems to have luck or always seems to get by easier than everyone else. Oh, fine, at least would you, what would you like to say? She probably went like, yeah, yeah, whatever. 